With the release of Katie Lake processors as of January 5th, we can expect to see new gains and a few new features available to users to take advantage of. As a quick rundown, we've decided to run a few tests between the Skylake 6700K and the new replacement Kaby Lake 7700K. As for our platform we tested on, we did everything with the new MSI Z270 SLI Plus motherboard with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 HyperX RAM. Our GPU was an MSI GTX 1080 to prevent any bottlenecking, and our hard drive was a Samsung SSD 850 Evo. To kick off our testing, we started with Cinebench and ran the dedicated CPU test with the 6700K scoring 881 CB and the 7700K scoring 964 CB, which is a 9% increase in performance, which isn't too bad. Our second test was with Firestrike. The 6700K's overall score was 17,041 and the 7700K V Lake score was 17,441 which was a performance gain of about 2.3%, which isn't super surprising since this is a heavily stressed test on the GPU. But despite this, we have increased numbers on all scores, even including graphics with the 7700K, perhaps showing its improved optimization may be able to help games perform better. Moving on to what I call real world testing, let's see if there's any improvements in games, both at 1080p and at 4K. Starting things off, we had Grand Theft Auto V set to high with MSAA at times four, we saw a 1 FPS difference at 1080p and the same frame rates at 4K. So overall, no real difference between the two. Next, we ran Rise of the Tomb Raider. We saw similar results to the previous test, but this time with a 1 FPS difference in the advantage of the 7700K at 4K resolution. Still really nothing to count as a victory. And for our final test, we ran Dirt Rally on Ultra and saw dead even numbers between the two. So what is the verdict? For CPU-based performance like rendering and video encoding, you can expect to see gains anywhere from 5 to 10% increase with KB Lake over Skylake. But in gaming, where you are heavily dependent on the video card's performance currently, there is nothing specific to gain as it shows in our numbers. That doesn't mean you should be turned off from KB Lake though. There are some nice new features on the new Z270 motherboards, and early overclocking of KB Lake processors so far look very promising with some pretty substantial gains. To learn more about KB Lake and how to customize your own laptop or desktop, head over to ExoticPC.com or give us a call. I've been Andrew saying thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for future product overviews and reviews.